So finally, the new 2022 Razorblade laptops are here, and it comes in three different variants, the Razorblade 14, 15, and 17. But the question is, which laptop is best for you? Personally, I'd say just get them all so you don't have to think so hard. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to hit that sub and bell. Okay, but in all seriousness, Razer has an offering for everyone. And in this video, we are gonna talk about which laptop is the best for you. Let's start off with the Razer Blade 14. This is the smallest and possibly the most kawaii of all the three. But don't let its timidness fool you because underneath that pretty looking exterior hides powerful hardware that is quite impressive. It houses a Ryzen 9 6900HX processor coupled with an NVIDIA GeForce 3070Ti or a 3080Ti. The display is a 14-inch Quad HD panel that supports a refresh rate of 165Hz and 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. So obviously, with all these specs, I could play games and edit videos without any issue. But you probably already know that, right? So who is this laptop for, you may ask? Because of its portability and power, I highly recommend that this laptop is used by people who are always on the go. Because of a few factors. You won't be lugging around the laptop the size and weight of a fat chihuahua. The second is work and gaming on the go is made so much more simple with the Blade 14. And most of the rubbish bloatware that you have to deal with asking you every damn time to renew your antivirus or join a club for special wallpapers and nonsense giving you the illusion of privilege. No, the Blade 14 has none of that. So you'll be using this laptop for work, then work is the focus. There's no distractions, there's no bother, it's just you and the laptop. And the same goes for gaming. There is no disturbance or useless programs taking up valuable resources when you're gaming. Gaming should be the main focus. And that's how you know it is made by gamers for gamers. Also not to mention that there is ample amount of ports, which God knows we need in this day and age. If I had one complaint, it would be the size of the display. Now I like larger displays and 14 inches might not be for me, but seeing as this is considered to be an ultra book in some sense, I know that many of you out there wouldn't mind that size. And sure enough, it is a really good display regardless if you're using it for work or play. Maybe my second complaint would be the battery life because it lasts less than 8 hours. So if you're working the usual 9 to 5, then you should carry the charger around with you. But then again, it's not too bad because the charger is not the size of the bricks that was used to build your house. Next on the list is the Razer Blade 15. Now, before you continue watching this video, I already did a full review of this laptop on the top right. So pause the video, go watch it. Do it! So just as a recap, the Blade 15, as the name states, has a 15-inch display with a Quad HD resolution that supports a refresh rate of 240Hz. So you can guess that clarity and smoothness is obvious, especially if this is the first time you have seen a display like this. If you need to take it up a notch, there's also the Ultra HD display which supports 144Hz refresh rate. That makes it great for both content creators and gamers. Driving all of this is the Core i7-12800H processor and an option of either the RTX 3070 Ti or the 3080 Ti. So what you pick is directly related to what you want to do on the laptop. If it's just for gaming, then even the 3070 Ti would be good enough. But if you want to go all the way to the end, with gaming and content creation, then you will definitely benefit from the 3080 Ti. Yes, this laptop has crazy performance because I tried it out with games like Control, Metro Exodus, Forza 5 and all of them performs excellent. Especially in Control because it seriously blew me away that it achieved 50 FPS on the highest graphical setting with ray tracing on. But not only that, it also does fantastic when using Unreal Engine. There's simply no lags or slowdowns, so it does well in all aspects. But coming back to the important question, who is this laptop for? The answer is pretty simple. If you are a content creator and a gamer and have a balance between the two, the Blade 15 is definitely your choice. It is slightly more heavier than the Blade 14, but in my experience, 
I still didn't have any problems carrying it around. And again, as I mentioned in the review video, it also has a charger that is quite portable. But once again, the downside is the keyboard. The spacing and the size is great, but the travel distance is not so great and it might need some getting used to. Where it excels is the balance between content creation and gaming. So if you're not sure whether you will be going out and working a lot or prefer to stay put at home, then the Blade 15 is the middle ground. Okay, so I'm a desktop person and laptops have always been my secondary device. I am blessed with enough space in my room to have a desktop setup. But what about those of you who have too small of a living space but still want that desktop experience? Well, the way I look at it, you can either get a bigger house or pick up the Razer Blade 17. There is a few reasons for this. First of all, it comes with the same specs as the Razer Blade 15, the same Core i7 processor and Nvidia graphic card. But the difference here is that it has a 17-inch display. So if you live in a really compact space, you definitely don't even need to worry about getting a monitor. Speaking about the display, it is a Quad HD 240Hz panel that supports 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut and has been collaborated, collaborated, and it's already collaborated, collaborated, adjusted by Razer. Now, another reason why I recommend this laptop is because of the number of ports that are available. It has ample number of ports, so you can hook up your own keyboard and mouse while still having the space to extend the display to multiple other monitors. And it is the only laptop out of the three that has an Ethernet port. But the most important thing is the SD card reader. Thank you, Razer. Thank you. So yeah, I mean, whatever you throw at this laptop, it's just going to laugh at you and just blaze through it. I tried this laptop with gaming, content creation, and even in Unreal Engine, and honestly, I just don't have any complaints. What's also nice is that the Blade 17 comes in many different configurations, from a Full HD display to an Ultra HD display, and even from an RTX 3060 to a 3080 Ti. So yeah, it honestly feels like how you would go out and buy a desktop. You might not be able to pick and choose exactly what you want, but with the options available, there is definitely a desktop choice ready for you. You know, I tried to come up with something that is negative about this laptop, but the thing is, I actually don't have any problems with the Blade 17. Because of the larger space, Razer has implemented a better cooling system. And that doesn't mean that games don't heat up the laptop because it does get hot and thermal throttling is happening, but the laptop doesn't feel hot. Maybe again with the battery life, it's just not great. But again, if this becomes your desktop replacement, then you will obviously want to hook this up to the charger all the time. So it's not really a problem. And not to mention, the speakers also sound better in my opinion. And that's probably because that the speakers have more space to breathe and thus push out a better sound. Okay, so let's recap. The Razer Blade... Okay, so... Okay, so let's recap. The Razer Blade 14 is for those of you who want portability and are always on the go, but still want to do content creation and maybe gaming. The Razer Blade 15 is for those of you who can't decide whether you want to sit at home or just go out. So that would be a better choice. And the Razer Blade 17 is for those of you who want a desktop but don't really have the space for it. So the 17 can be your desktop. So there you have it guys, those are the Razer Blade laptops that you can consider. Personally, I would go with the 15 because I like that option that I can, you know, take the laptop out and go to a cafe and sit down and play some games, do some work. But at the same time, if I want to be at home and have my table with my full gaming setup, then the Blade 15 works that way as well. But let me know what is the Razer Blade laptop for you in the comments below. And also, while you're there, I've also left some links on where you can check out these laptops and purchase them for yourself. And while you're there, don't forget, there is a sub and a bell button that you should hit to make me feel happy. You want to make me feel happy, right? That's the way. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.